no social media, no problem. Still need to market your business? Easy. Let's go. Guys, what's going on? It's Justin Springer with Most Won't We Will. And in this little video, uh, in case you don't know who I am, my name is Justin Springer. And basically what I like to do is it's Most Won't We Will where we basically say most people won't do the actions that we need to do, but we will. We will take the action. So what we like to do is help those people uh, build their online business, uh, you know, or make some money, start maybe an online business, or definitely mindset. You might see a lot of videos about mindset and it's just because, and I'm going to put this before I give you this great little cool little thing that you can be doing to market uh, your business without social media. Uh, the only thing is, is no matter what I tell you, if you're not changing this, I can give you every cool tip in the world and you're going to use that tip and you might have a little bit of success, but you're never really going to grow. Okay. So just understand that first. And I even have a Facebook group where we're already teaching people how to market, uh, helping them actually find abundance, helping them find some money, but also changing their mindset so they can grow. But I just thought I would throw that out there. A lot of people won't do that to you. They're just going to tell you, oh, buy my shit, right? But if you're not changing this, you're not really doing anything. You're not growing. And I want to give that to you free, okay? So anyways... Now, to what this video is all about, there's no really cool little flashy gimmicks here. I don't know, I'm not that great. Uh, I'll be the first to admit that. So instead, what I do is I just kinda tell you how it is, okay? Hopefully you like me, hopefully, you, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, here's the thing. So how do you market your business when you have no social media? And I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, okay? Uh, first, let me go ahead and take you through a little bit of history, but promise you, I'm not gonna bore you to death. You're gonna actually see some things, okay? So here's the thing. Probably what you heard a while back is you need to get into a business, you need to get into an online business. Then when you got into that online business, you said, oh shit, <laughs> there's a whole bunch of stuff to do, right? So then everybody started telling you, you know what, you probably got to get a following. Oh, wait a minute, following is great, but you really got to get an email list because it's so hard to get a following. So get the email list, right? So you can run the Bing ads and all this shit. So you started learning about funnels and then when you got to the funnel, you started doing email marketing. Here's the reason why email marketing was so good and it still is good. Don't get me wrong it's still there and you still need to learn all that wonderful stuff i'm just trying to get you i'm trying to paint a picture here for you okay you learned about email marketing and here's the thing it was so cool because a lot more sales were made in the emails why is that because people got on social media to socialize they didn't go on social media to be sold so therefore it was a little bit tricky right not saying you couldn't make sales online but it was so much easier to get them on your list that way, instead of having them all scatterbrained looking everywhere, you had that one-on-one -on -one contact with them. And, uh, you know, but then, you know, emails started saying, hey, you know what? This is going in spam folders. This is this, this is that. They started making these rules and regulations, just like everything does. It's no big deal. And anyways, with that being said, email open rates started going low. Now think about this, right? If the open rates are going low, then that means the click-through rates are going low, so therefore people aren't seeing your stuff or going through your process, duh, okay? So then hear me out really quick. So then Messenger bots came out, right? And everybody loved, loved, loved Messenger bots, and here's the main reason why. And if you don't know what a Messenger bot is, all it is is it's basically the same kind of principle as email marketing, you get them in one central area and it allows you to communicate with a mass scale amount of people, right? In one central area uh, on what they call a list, right? But through Facebook Messenger. And it was pretty cool because you could automate the process and you could send one message out to a bunch of people. It's just kind of like right now with Gmail. Think about it. If I wanted to go email a whole bunch of people on Gmail, I would have to CC them and all that stuff. And it just... It looks all funky, right? And you don't want that, right? That's why email marketing was a different category. So anyways, back to what this video was really all about, okay? So messenger bots were cool because, why? They had a high open rate. And da 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 if you're playing the numbers game, a higher open rate equals more people viewing your content, which means more people taking action to go through your little funnel whatsoever or your system or seeing whatever the hell you're selling, buying, whatever. Boom. All right, done. Anyways, but this video is how can you make money without social media? And here's my thing. I only brought you to this point to just tell you all that, right? <laughs> For a particular reason, okay? Because um, 
that's the way that the waves were going. That's the way that the trends are going. And if you know anything about trends, they start to circulate around, right? Like, you know, like the 70s look comes back, 80s looks comes back, 90s looks comes back, 90s rap, 90s sounds. You know what I mean? It always circulates. So here's my thing. Text messaging was a huge, huge, huge deal, okay? But it was not used correctly, okay? First, everybody was messaging everybody, but then AT&T, Verizon, all these guys, they stepped in and said, oh shit, we ain't having that. You're messing with our customers, and we don't like that, so they started putting down regulations, but hear me out really quick, okay? Here's the other problem. People did not know how to do it effectively. So what were they doing? They were just blasting people through text messaging. And I'm getting to a point as to how you can market your business with no social media. Just bear with me. I need you to understand the history and why this is also going to be so big. Okay. But here's my thing. They were, we were doing text messaging wrong because we were blasting it. We were blasting it to people. Now, why is text messages so cool? Because if you do your studies right, you'll find out that 93% will open up a text message within three minutes of receiving it. 93%. You cannot get a number like that, okay? But why was it not being effective? Because remember what we just taught you, right? When you had email marketing, you had high open rates, high click-through rates. When you went into messenger bots, you had high opening, you know what I mean? High uh, click-through rates. Text messages, you had high opening you know what I mean? That was it. Well, why was that? Well, like I said, AT&T, Verizon, all these guys, they stepped in because they're the carriers. But not only that, they were putting their regulations down. But, uh, you know, the other thing was it's because we were blasting the shit out of them. We were spamming them, right? So anyways, what we decided to do was say, hey, you know what? What if we can come up with a concept where we take the idea of a messenger buy and put them in one central location, but we use the power of text messaging? And now here's the other cool thing about it. I'm going to give you some tips here in a minute here, you know what I mean? Or show you how to market this thing, but think about it. Everybody and their mama has a phone number, right? So you don't even need social media. What if you, what if you could tap into everybody's phone, right? And I'm not telling you a certain way of tapping into everybody's literally their phone. I'm just, you know, painting a picture for you, right? Everybody has a phone. Everybody can pick up and dial. Think about this. I mean, I mean, even though I, I know it's very rare because everybody has unlimited everything nowadays, and here it is in uh, November, you know, 5th, 2019, okay, that I'm making this video. So let, let's face it, right? Uh, you know, it's very, very few people out there that doesn't have Wi-Fi or have unlimited data, right? But what, here's what I'm trying to say. Every single person can make a phone call. You don't even need social media now. And I know what you're thinking. Some of you are going to be like, oh, but how do I market this? But anyways, let me just tap into what it actually is. So what we decided to do is say, hey, you know what? We want to use the power of text messaging, but we want to set it up like a messenger bot because we want you to, number one, here, here's the thing about a messenger bot. Generally speaking, what you can do is give a person value, okay? You give them value somehow, some way by saying, hey, you know what? Let's say I have a, a fitness product and I say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna give you the 10 best tips to uh, lose weight, right? And then you get in the messenger bot, right? You hit the get started button, right? So then you get an automated message on where you can go get that information for the 10 tips. And then the messenger will ask you a couple uh, questions, right? So now you're having dialogue, you're having a full blown conversation with messenger bots. And then guess what? Then it directs you to, oh, well, hell, guess what? You can take these 10 tips and then you can even speed up your process by buying our such and such XYZ product that'll help you lose 20 pounds in one week, right? So now the person is like, wow, I came here for this free tips. Now I wanna look at this product, right? But they, you want them over by giving them something from free, some giving them something of value. Now we like that concept and in fact, it increased, increased the open rate and in fact, it increased the sales for messenger bots because people were finding a way to get value and also continuing to contact them through the list. So we said, what if we can take that concept and put it with the phone number? So through the power of text messaging. And that, my friend, is exactly what we have here. What we do is we like to give you a phone number that you can even customize yourself if you want to do it, right? But no matter what, what it's going to do is it's going to collect the leads, it's going to give them something of value, it's going to qualify the leads, and it's going to direct them towards whatever you want to direct them to. Wow.
That's an interesting concept, right? And even if you do not, right? Even if you do not and you just want to use it for its generality, I mean, you can still make some money off of that. And I can get to that in another time. But the ultimate idea of this video was basically to say, hey, how do I build my business without the power of social media? Well, let me, let me explain, okay? We give you a phone number that you can use to customize however you want, okay? And all they have to do is call in, and as soon as they start text messaging, right, you're gathering your leads and you're building your business. You're directing them to whatever you want. You're, you're, getting, you're collecting their number, you're collecting their name, you're collecting their email, and you're directing them towards wherever you want to go by a series of questions. And this is all being done automated, my friends, in real time, okay? But here's the idea. Well, Justin, how do I build it then, okay? Well, here's the thing, guys. If you notice, people want to go online, and I get that. You want to go online. And here's the thing about online, okay? There's so much to learn. I gotta learn how do I do Facebook ads and I gotta spend a whole bunch of money to, to really develop my pixel and that could take a long time to do, right? I gotta make sure I got the right ad, I gotta make sure I got the right audience. I really wanna formulate my pixel if I wanna do advertising or I gotta build up my following and you start going along building your following and then oh blah, here comes another Instagram, Facebook algorithm change or even YouTube yourself, right? You get on YouTube and then you start realizing oh shit, I gotta worry about what keywords, what tags to use. I gotta save it a certain way, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. It, so much shit to learn. And while you're sitting there learning it all and learning how to master it all, guess what's really happening? You're not making money. <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? You know what I mean? Like, oh my God, I'm going along and I'm not making any money, which is exactly what I wanted to do in my business. Wow, ain't that fucking something, right? You're spending all day long trying to learn something rather than us just getting you a phone number, you setting it up one time, that's all you gotta do. Yeah, okay, so there is a little setup process. But once you set it up, now what are you doing? You're just spending most of your time getting people to call the number. Well, how do I do that, Justin? Well, I don't know. Not saying you need social media, but you could actually put it on Craigslist, right? You could put it on a business card. You could go to meetup.com, or you could go to Facebook, Eh, I know, I just said no social media. I'm just saying, find out where events are at, right? Go to those events and pass out that phone number. You can put it on a flyer, you can put it on the back of your car, right? What you're trying to do is you're trying to get people to call the number. Now, let's take that example of the product, right? Let's say I got a product for the weight loss industry, right? Well, think about this, okay? I go to a local gym, I asked them to go, and I'm give you a tip on this, Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, I used to be in the gym industry, those are your most populated times, and just sit there and say, hey, you know what, do you mind if I set up a table? I would love to offer this product, right? And they say, sure. And guess what, what if you didn't even bring the product? Or maybe you can bring the product, but you just said, hey, I tell you what, if you don't mind, you know what I mean, just you know, before they work out or after they work out, hey, by the way, here's a business card really quick, by the way, you can get business cards for about 30 bucks on Vistaprint, so anyways, you say, hey, you know what? Call that number and you can get something for free. Just call the number. Just call the number. Uh, it only takes about a minute. You get your free process. And they say, okay, cool. They call the number. They walk out. They go to the car. They just happen to call the number as they're driving in the car. And Okay, cool. Even though we don't condone texting and driving. So that's probably not a good example. But you get the whole gist of the idea, right? They call excuse me, right then and there and they get their free product. You don't even need social media. It's doing all the selling and telling for you with the power of text messaging technology, right? Which we already know has a 93% open rate, right? Within the first three minutes of receiving it. We also know by messenger bots that if you give something of value before you put them on the list, okay, wow, cool. So now these people are like getting something for nothing, right? Which get, builds up trust, right? So, so not only are you collecting the leads so you can follow up and you can do that, but you can direct these people to wherever you want to go. Now, do you understand now how this can be very exciting? Once again, where all can you put a phone number? Oh, I don't know. I'm, this video was designed to not really talk about social media, but I want you to think about it. Gary Vaynerchuk, he has it flashing through all his videos. He even made a t-shirt with a phone number. Think about that. Now, that was smart because he is on social media everywhere and he's producing a lot of content. But let's go ahead and just rewind and say you don't have social media, even though it's really weird because you're watching this YouTube video. Anyways, but at the end of the day, what if you just put it on a t-shirt? 
You put it on a t-shirt, you're walking around, right? Hey, free tip, free this, free that. Call this number, right? Call this number, uh, call this number takes one minute. You put an ad in the newspaper, you put it in the classified, right? Whatever, you know what I mean? You go to meetup.com, you find local events, you uh, call the Chamber of Commerce, you start leaving flyers at local businesses or wherever you possibly can, right? Uh, you leave them at uh, flyers everywhere in your streets, you put business cards on everything. You know what you could also do? And I know this sounds crazy, but I want you to think about this before I go because this video is starting to get a little long here. Think about this. What if I took, what if I took 20 bucks, I went and got a black and white, whole bunch of black and white copies, right? Black and white copies. Think about it. E uh, mailbox money is a really big thing right about now, right? Hear me out, okay? I, I promise I have somewhere I'm going with this, okay? So anyways, oh, that was another thing. You could do postcards. Hello. But anyways, um, okay, so, you know, so people are checking their mailboxes. They're still at home, ladies and gentlemen. They didn't go anywhere. And remember, trends tend to circulate, right? So people didn't leave their homes just because they're on social media, right? So anyways, what you do is you take about 20 bucks. You go to the cheapest place that you could possibly find. You get a whole bunch of black and white copies on a piece of paper. It does not really matter, right? You also probably go to the 99 cent store and get tape, okay? If you want to kind of shell out the dough a little bit, maybe you go to Walmart, Home Depot. It doesn't matter. You get a whole bunch of little tape really quick. And then every day for a good 20 minutes, let's say you got to get your walk in for your natural exercise. You just go and take a piece of tape with the paper and put it on that door. Okay. And all they got to do to get their free gift is a phone call. Call. Takes about a minute. That's it. That's all you got to do. You know, everybody can do it. You know, people don't have to wait on their data. They don't have to wait for their Wi-Fi to connect. You don't have to be YouTube famous. You don't have to be Facebook famous. You don't have to learn a whole stretch of Facebook ads. They call the number, you take them through the process. And imagine if you were to, in 20 minutes of your walking, you were to hit, I don't know, 100 houses. I don't know how, you know, depends on how close they are. Maybe not 100 houses, but you just hit a whole neighborhood every day. Imagine the wavelength that you would naturally have, and it's all by sharing a phone number. You see what I'm saying? So that's where we wanted to go, and we wanted to take it there. And you didn't even need social media to get started, guys. Okay? It's very, very simple. Anyways, you want to see how this process goes. I'm going to tell you what. This is what I want you to do. I'm actually going to put a link in the description. Okay? Uh, and the reason why I want to put the link in the description, well, underneath it, I'll put the phone number too. I'll tell you what. I'll go ahead and flash it right here. You can call this number. Okay? So you can see the process. But what I wanted to do is if you want to skip the process of the phone number, which I don't know why you would, but anyways, the link underneath this, you just click it and it's going to take you straight to the video that's going to break it down a little bit more than what I did on how this works and how you can use it to not only make some money and qualify your leads, but you can build your business and you can customize this stuff, man. It's really, really cool. And this is the next wavelength that I fully believe for 2019 to 2024, uh, everything to be going. So you might as well get on the trend now. Love you guys. Take care.